Good afternoon, folks. We've got three quick notes to hit here, so let's get to it and then get you on your way. First, did any of you hear about the puffins showing up in Florida? We normally think of these as Arctic birds, but they do migrate southward a bit and can be found often near Maine in the wintertime. This, however, is virtually unheard of. What's weirdest is that the climate change narrative would make us expect to see them less further south. Obviously, that's not what we have here. Now, the two best explanations for this are a desalinization issue due to melting ice in the Beaufort Gyre release, or Earth's changing magnetic field messing with their navigation. In truth, we have no way of knowing which of these it is or if it's something else, but we do know finding puffins here is extremely weird. Speaking of weird, how's that for an earthquake in Idaho? 4.9 is well above average for the area, and what's even weirder is that this is not even within the high-risk zone listed on the latest USGS hazard map, which we shared with you a few weeks ago. Hopefully, this is just a one-off event and not a foreshock, but we'll be paying attention to the region in case there is more to come. Lastly, folks, a bit more on this morning's top article. We have been seeing a lot more on the AMOC recently, haven't we? There was that article on the Weather Channel explaining why this was the cold climate bomb from the movie The Day After Tomorrow, accompanying the scientific paper on the collapse signals being seen more and more. Now, this new study says the forecasted collapse period is between 2040 and 2065. But let's not forget, four years ago, nobody thought this would be happening within 200 years. A year ago, they were saying maybe in as little as 80 years. Now, we're looking to the middle of the century, and I will remind everyone it likely won't be long until scientists are saying it could happen at any time. This is especially true since the models used for the AMOC generally do not factor in the release of the Beaufort Gyre, which is what Yale University called the cold climate bomb just a few years ago. Folks, I think it is a fairly safe assumption that well before the main aspect of the disaster cycle that we discuss here on this channel so often, we're going to see the AMOC collapse and the ferocious cold that comes with it. Puffins in a weird place, an earthquake in Idaho, and the collapse of the overturning circulation in the ocean. Try to have a nice evening, everyone, and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show.